hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video today, we're going to be doing a very quick sketch using ink and watercolour, and I'm going to be using some homemade dip pens. For those of you that are regular to my channel, you may recall that a while ago I made a video showing you how to make those dip pens, so I thought it would be nice today to use some of them. So I've got loads that I've made over the years, um, and they go dry, and sometimes you need to throw them away and make some more because they go brittle. Um, but actually, sometimes the more you use them, the better they get and the nicer marks that they make. So the great thing about making your own dip pens is just that, the mark making. You get a lovely variety of lines um, and, you know, you can be very expressive or give that impression of being very expressive and free, even though perhaps you, you've been quite considered about the lines that you're making. So I will link that video up here, the one for how to make your own um, dip pens out of sticks and twigs. The great thing about these is not only the mark making, it's the fact that, of course, they're free and also they're very environmentally friendly because, you know, they're completely renewable. Um, we can soon make some more and there's no plastic involved or anything like that. So there are a lot of fun to work with, too. OK, so I did actually a, just a little group of two acorns. The thing with acorns is you, they have such um, a variety of colours throughout them. You can get some that are very, very pale, almost cream, all the way through to very, very dark browns and lots of reds and yellows in between. So you can, you know, make your own colours up. You don't have to stick faithfully to the photograph. I've chosen a photograph of Pixabay. I will link Pixabay down in the description below. And if you just pop in something like autumn um, things in the search bar there you'll find all sorts of acorns and conkers and autumn leaves that you can have a go at working from of course you can always pop outside and pick something up as well that uh, you might want to sketch so with this sketch you want to be nice and loose and free don't get too hung up on making it photorealistic and we've all heard that saying fake it until you make it well i think that's a good thing about doing your pencil guidelines first Although in this sketch, I kept my pencil guidelines very free and loose um, because I wanted it to, you know, be a very quick and expressive sketch. You could be a little bit more considered if you're worried about the accuracy of your drawing. So you can get those pencil guidelines on, which, of course, are going to be erased later on. And then when you do your mark making with your dip pen, it can look as though it's expressive and it's a very quick sketch. And, and as if you've just, you know, got your ink out and gone straight into it. Because once those pencil guidelines have gone, nobody else can see them. Nobody knows that you did that preparatory work. So I think that's a good tip, really, is just to have that there. Always make sure your ink is completely dry before you erase your pencil guidelines and before you come on to add your watercolours. Of course, you're going to need a watercolour paper. I always use something above £140 in weight and a not pressed one is probably best. My watercolour paints that I use today are the Sennelier Travel Set, which I use quite often, and it's got some nice bright colours in. I began with a yellow, and I did that, you know, a, a nice wash, and then I put wet into wet, very strong colours into that, so probably straight from the pan. So when you're working into wet into wet, always have a higher concentration of paint with your next addition. So, and you'll see I put some blues and things in there in the areas where there were shadows. I didn't stick faithfully to the photograph. I was just having a bit of fun with it. And that's what you want to do with this. Just relax and have, have some fun. Have a think about some nice bright autumn colours and getting some nice expressive lines in there. The ink I used was a Dale Rowley calligraphy ink and I used a brown one because I thought it was a little nicer than using the black at this time of year. Um, and it goes very nicely with the subject. OK, so I think that's everything I have to tell you about doing this. If you have got any questions, please do ask in the comments below and I will get back to you. Um, but enjoy your sketching. Go and pick a few little things up from outside or get some photographs together of Pixabay um, and have fun with it and just keep it nice and loose and free. OK, I'll be back again soon. Bye bye for now.